Hey guys, so not really sure how to start this. Um, my name's Henry. I am a golf professional uh, in Wisconsin at Fox Hills Resort. And I guess this is going to be my very first YouTube video. <laughs> Don't know how many I'm going to upload in my time doing this or if I'm even going to be very regular with it at all. Um, but I decided to do this video. Um, pretty much because I'm sitting here at work not doing anything. It's our off season and I am the night MOD, manager on duty. Really boring. So I have really nothing to do. Um, so I guess my very first video, not that anyone who would ever see this or care, um, two things I want to improve with my game. Um, right now I am a, like I said, I'm a pro. Um, I don't carry a handicap. Um, my best round ever is a 68, which is on a par 71, so three under. Um, my average is probably about 72, 73. Uh, I play pretty close to par whenever I do play golf. Um, but I do have those rounds where I cannot do anything, and it's really, really frustrating. So I guess number one, uh, my of my two... Uh, areas I want to improve. Um, number one would be my ball striking. I am not the best uh, ball striker on the planet. Uh, I tend to spray the ball. Uh, I never really hit very clean shots. I do get away with them a lot uh, because I do tend to be pretty creative around the greens. Uh, I can get up and down. Um, but so my my ball striking definitely, and that is off the tee and with irons. Um, I do get pretty wild no matter what I'm doing and my irons I don't know I'm I'm thinking about switching shafts in them I like the irons themselves it's the Strixon 96 965s yeah 965s the blades from last year the new ones and then I am also my second area of improvement that I really want to get better at is my putting I am probably the self-proclaimed world's worst putter uh, I do have my good rounds, like like I said, my best round ever is a 68. I do have those days where everything kind of comes together, and I do play pretty good. Um, but as a whole, my putting is pretty horrible. So, and I I so I switch between putters so often. I think I used four this five 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 putters this last season. And I've really not settled on one. I have an old Nike putter and an old Reed, like from like the 70s ping putter that I switch to every once in a while. Um, and because, you know, at here at Fox Hills, um, we carry Cleveland Six on. Uh, I have a Cleveland putter that I like, but it's not really for me. I don't know why I got it, but I do. Uh, and then I also, I got a tailor-made spider putter, which actually I like a lot. I think that's the putter I'm going to go with. I'm just going to regrip it. Um, so yeah. So first things first, uh, definitely want to improve my ball striking because if I get on the greens more and I, then my putting kind of is secondary at that point. But number two, I definitely want to become a better putter. Uh, if I can make some of those 10 footers to save par instead of, you know, not making them or being able to two putt from a long distance instead of three putting, then that makes my life a whole hell of a lot easier um so and then you know the the strong points in my game um i would go down to just my mental game i don't really let bad shots get me down uh, i will get frustrated every once in a while but typically my you know my my game is my my mental game is pretty good um I don't really worry about if I hit it in a bad spot because I have the faith in my convictions. Even if I'm not playing very well, I I always feel I can get out of a bad spot. And that helps. That definitely, definitely helps. Um, uh, I do like to believe that I'm a fairly good driver of the golf ball, um, even though I do have bad days. Um, everyone does. I'm not any exception to that rule. Um, but I do feel like I am a good driver of the golf ball. I have length. I can hit the ball a mile when I want to, sometimes not, but there are those days where I hit the ball a country mile, 
And even if I don't end up in the best of spots, I feel like I'm close enough to greens that it doesn't really matter because I've got a short enough club in my hands. Normally a wedge, maybe a short iron, doesn't really matter. Um, and then just my course management. Again, I'm kind of a bomb and gouge guy. Um, I don't really play for position a whole lot. I do sometimes. Um, typically when I'm practicing for a tournament, I will play a couple rounds just with irons. Uh, I won't even put the driver or the three wood in my bag. Um, and that typically will help me. I probably should do it more often. Um, so yeah, I've been rambling now for about five minutes. Yeah. Don't really know if this is ever going to get a view or if I <laughs> am ever going to do another video. So, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> wow, this is bad. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that, those are my two ball striking and putting. I want to get better. I really do. Um, again, this is this is my very first video. Really bad. Uh, so... If anyone wants to look at this, leave me a comment down below. Um, I will do my best to respond, and uh, hopefully people have good ideas. Uh, definitely this is this is taken on my phone, so this is not going to be a great video. Quality-wise, uh, I don't really have the material to do better videos at the moment, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to continue. So uh, any comments on, you know, what your uh, probably two biggest areas of improvement are for this upcoming golf season uh, i know it's still january no one's thinking about the next season but i am um so yeah uh leave a comment down below and i will uh hopefully respond all right take care fellas bye